Hello and welcome back. So let's finish up here. Let's have the rows loading here, but we need to add some rows first of all. So I'm going to click on new row here so we can add one. So new row. So it shouldn't be permission, but row. So and whether it's disabled or not. Uh, you know, I never actually put a title here, which is insane. Let's see here. categories, new category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. The, 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 here it's clear what that is, but this is not really clear what this is, right? Anyway, let me click on new row here. So rows view, that's where we are at. And let's go to the add section. So right above here, where we are selecting whether it's disabled or not, let me just add a label and say uh, active like this, whether it's active or not. Yeah, that's what we are checking for here. So let me refresh and there we go. So active, yes. So put that on the, let me just do that, why not? So copy that, let's go to categories view and we can add that as well. So I'm going to the add section and right after this, just put that there. Let's go to the, not the delete, no need for that. We already did add it. Let's add it to the edit. There we go. That way when we are in categories and we're adding a new one, we see whether it's active or not. And even when we are editing, we see that. Okay, cool. Back to user roles. Let's add a new one. And instead of permission name, back to roles. Let me select all instances of permission. Uh, not that last one. So I just need to select twice to get the result I want. So this one and its next one on the edit. Change that to row. Okay. So back here we have row name. Good. So in this case we have no rows. We have to have uh, user and admin. So it's always a good idea to put the first one as, um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you put as the minimum, um, whatever you put as the minimum should be the default for the users. So in this case, uh, the row is going to be user like this. That's one I, the one I want to start with. So let me uh, save. So let's try this, save, and there we go. So we have your row was successfully created. Simple, easy peasy. So row is user. Try to use lowercase, don't use uppercase because it gets confusing sometimes when you're comparing the two, whether it was lowercase or uppercase, just get into your habit of saving as lowercase here. Mm -hmm. And then if we want to edit, this is what we get. Look at that, uh, everything is well, well done already. So if I try to eared it, I'll put maybe a two. Let's try that. Say row can only have blah, blah, blah. So everything seems to be working fine. Let me put an R and there we go. It's edited. So easy peasy, right? This is why the system is good because once you do it once, you just change a few things to move to the other side. Same with delete. Are you sure you wanna delete? No, not really. There we go. Oh, by the way, if uh, let's say I, if we go to the, um, the browser here, we browse in the MySQL, you see the ID is one, right? For user, because it's the first record. But then if I delete this record, so no records now, right? And then I add a new one, um, user again, uh, save. You see that the ID now is two because auto inc increment never goes back never goes back but i don't want that so let me delete that i want the first one to be first so what you can do is you can run a query so i've deleted it but go to the sql and i can just say um alter table so say alter table rows what table are you altering is rows and then we just say auto increment what have i done <laughs> What have I done? Auto increment is equal to one. Uh, just like that. This is the query you run to reset the auto increment to a particular number. So back there, 
it's back to one. The query has run just the no records there. Better you do it when there are no records. And then let's add a record here and say user and save. See, now we are back to one. Okay, so we have a, uh, a row, but where are the permissions? Now I need to list the permissions here. Now, where will these come from? They'll come from this particular file, permissions there. So just grab this guy. Maybe it would be good to make this a constant because um, it never really changes. This content never changes. And then a constant is available everywhere. So let's remove that. Let's make it a constant instead. So I'm just going to say uh, define. That's how you create constants. Define. Uh, the constant name is permissions. Okay, and then the value is what's in here. So I'm just, just going to move this guy over there like that so that the value is the array like this. So let's run this and make sure we don't get any errors. So things are good. But now I want to loop through that array and show the permissions here. So I'll go to, um, where is this? Rows view right at the very end. Where is this? Uh, let's go down here, right here, where we added an empty one. So this is the one where we're going to loop through. So I'm going to put some PHP tags and do a loop, right? I'll say for each, like that. And this one is the constant, permissions. We don't need the key because the keys are just 0101. And then here we'll just name each as permission like that. And then let's um, let's close that over there and put an end for each. Okay, like this. And then now we can echo. Hmm. Let me try and put this as a div for now, like this. And then I'm going to echo out permission like that. Okay. So let's see what we get with this. Okay. So as you can see now, we are listing, we have to list all the permissions and then allow the user here, the admin to tick which permissions are allowed for user and so on. So what we can do is have the the ticking thingy here. Now, I haven't looked at our templates in a while, so I'm just going to go to nice admin again, and let's go to the index page. Let me just uh, open containing folder, open containing folder, yes, and just uh, run this baby. Let's see what we are missing here. This is our original template. Let's look for components, or maybe it's in forms. Yes, forms, form elements. Okay, so I want this checked, this kind of checked thingy. So I think it's much clearer than this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter what you want. You can tick what you want, etc., etc. Uh, or if you prefer these ones, no problem. But let's try this one. Uh, let me inspect the element. So this is the thing that contains everything. So I'll copy the outer HTML come back here where are we right here so I will paste this instead let me push it inward okay so uh, here the title itself is this one so copy that and let's put it here okay and then we can remove this guy down here and then, hmm, uh, okay, before I get carried away, let me refresh. Okay, so this is what we get now. So we can select which permissions do what. Now, as you can see here, because it's a loop, uh, there's only one name here. No matter which one I click, it's affecting this one because it's the first one. The reason is th there's an ID on each one of these and the ID is the same. And then the label says it's for 
whatever has this ID. Now the problem is IDs are supposed to be unique and so the very first item with that ID will be affected. So instead we need to give it uh, something to chew on here. Just give it some randomness. So I'm going to put PHP here and just say num is equal to zero and close that so that we have a number here that's equal to zero. And then I don't want to open more tags, but hey, you can if you want. Eh, I guess I should just for clean code and then put plus plus so that I incre increment it throughout. So then I'll copy this num put it here. Now, uh, I want to remove, replace this with num instead, so that through each one of them has a unique ID. So let's refresh. Now, if I click on this, it's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Then uh, let's remove the underscores here because they're not so user friendly. So we remove them on this one here. So we're going to do string replace like this. Okay, so what we are searching for is the underscore. We are replacing it with spacebar and then permission, cut that. Let's put that here. Okay, let's see that. So at least it's more user readable. Edit permissions, add permissions, read permissions, etc. 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 But there's a lot of empty space here, and then if there are a lot of permissions will go on and on for ever down here. So I'd rather fix maybe three permissions per line. So what I'll do is using since we are using bootstrap here anyway, what I can do is put this inside a div. From, from switch from maybe this div right here so I'll just say column uh, maybe medium and then say four so that there are three of them because bootstrap has a 12 column thing so if I put four on each one then they can share three of them since there are four there are three fours in 12 but this doesn't seem to be working so what I would do is let's add a div outside, put a class of row just to tell it that this should be a row. And let's do that. Okay, so the row covers this. So each one of these should be forced to share some space. And there we go. So it's sharing space, but this isn't <laughs> looking so hot now, is it? Okay, so maybe we can limit the column. Where is the column? Right here. Let's uh, put a style here. Let's just say max width. Let's put that at 200 pixels. That's as maximum as it will go. Doesn't seem to have an effect whatsoever, but why? Let's try width 100%. Okay. Apparently that has no effect, but let's try this on the actual uh, table data thingy. Wow, nothing. Incredible. Okay, so instead of max width, maybe it wants uh, just width like that. Hmm, which is not so good. This is what I did not want to do. Oh boy. Okay, this doesn't do justice to things. So we'll just leave it be, it's okay. Maybe let's change this to six so that only two can share that. Still, look at that, incredible. Okay, I'll take it back to where it was. It's all right, because as we add rows, it's going to adjust. So I don't know how I can uh, adjust this without fixing a width. I don't want to fix it. Then it becomes unresponsive, but maybe we can fix it. Uh, let's do this. This is a table. 
So I'm going to duplicate this and put a div on the top here and then put table responsive. Okay, this will cover the table inside a div so that uh, when the screen is too small, then it adds a scroll bar. So now I want to look for table right here and then duplicate, put that div at the end. Okay, that way I won't mind it won't be a big deal if I set a style here with a fixed width. So we just say width, uh, let's try 600 pixels. Let's see here. Okay, maybe that will do. Let's see how responsive this is. If we go to responsive design. Okay, so it works there and then it starts giving a scroll bar. So that's fine. I think I'm, uh, I'm good with that. Okay, that's fine with me. Alrighty then. Yeah, now we can add a new one and say admin like this and save. So we have the admin row, user row, each one of them has permissions and we need to select which ones are actually active. Now look at this. Again, we have a problem here because now the IDs here are matching these ones here again. So delete here will be affected by that the permission here will be affected by that so we need to make each row unique as well so not only the numbers here but the row itself so in the only way to do that is to actually add the permission as part of the identity so number here but before number let's put permission itself and then a dot to concatenate and put a number Oh, wait a minute, the permissions are repeated as well. So this doesn't do us any good either. Okay, so. Hmm. So instead of the permission, let's use the row. So I'll copy this because the row itself is different. Or what we can do instead of using the, um, we can add the row ID as well. That could be another thing to do. So maybe let's try row ID. I'm going to copy this. Put the row ID here like that, just to make them unique. Okay. And then, yep. So we are good now. Now, if you inspect this, you will see what this has done. Let's see here. So you see here it has twin two one checked. So the one is the row ID, the other one is the num ID. So it makes them each one of them unique. Okay, so the point we've reached is good. Now we just need to be able to save these guys. Checked is on by default, which it shouldn't be. So let me remove that. So let's refresh and there we go. So no permissions assigned yet. So in the next video, let's actually add some permissions to each one of these. Okay, great.